Yeah. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved, how the project was presented to you and why you wanted to make it. Uh, I saw a film in 2012 called The End of the Rainbow. I thought this could absolutely be a movie. Immediately the next day, it was on the front page of the New York Times Arts and Leisure section. I thought, that's it. A huge Hollywood producer is going to have picked it up. But I knew the producer of the play, who will be here tonight. And I said, please, just hold on to it for me. And he did. He held on to it for me. And I sent it to Renee once we had a script written, and here we are today. Was the, was the narrative, because it's a very unusual narrative in the way that you jump back and forth, and it's not yeah. just told through flashbacks, it's told part of her story, but part of how she's feeling and her yes. kind of emotions at the same time when she's young and when she's old. Yeah. Was that part of it when the, the, the uh, original project was up, or was that part of the, the script as you got it? Well, the, no, the original, I, I mean, I, I commissioned the script, so the, the script didn't arrive, but the, the play was very different, so it was... It was uh, I'm just trying to hold on to the umbrella here. Um, I'm going to be Mary Poppins in a minute. Uh, it was it was a three hand of the play. One of the characters being fictitious. We met a woman called Rosalind Wilder, who will also be here tonight, uh, who was part of the original Talk of the Town crew. When I say crew, she was production manager or production assistant. She gave us all this information. She gave us music that no one's ever heard of Judy C in the Talk of the Town. She gave us introductions to people that have never spoken about Judy for 40 years. All true. So we just fleshed the script out in the most incredible way. Tom Edge, our brilliant screenwriter, did. Pieced it all together. So it's a very different experience to the play, but it's, it's the same setting. And, you know, two out of three of the same characters. And obviously you spoke about Renee there. I mean, she's absolutely tremendous in the movie. And it's one of those performances where you don't know it's Renee Zellweger. It, it feels like it's Judy yeah. Garland from yeah. the minute. Brilliant. What was it about her that made her kind of perfect for this? I mean, had you seen something of hers that you thought, this, this, this is the perfect Judy? Or was it just because it was her, she had the talent to do so? Well, our little joke is, joke is our second choice was Peter Dinklage. Like, <laughs> I mean, we had nowhere to go. I mean, if you really look at it, honestly, and you look at it, and you sit down and you do a list, as I did, and I didn't have her in mind when we were writing the script initially. I didn't have anyone in mind. So I, we started to run through the list and I went, OK, who's got the drama chops? Well, Renee's won an Oscar for Cold Mountain. Who's got the comedy chops? Well, I think she was nominated for Golden Globe, I can't remember. Anyway, obviously brilliant and hugely successful in Bridget Jones. Who can sing? Well, she was in Chicago. Well, I welcome you to come up with your <laughs> second choice. I literally had nowhere to go. So I sent it to her manager, got an email back, didn't open it for 24 hours because I knew it would be no and I just thought I'll just for a night I won't have a miserable ex and miserable night I'll pretend that she's going to do it and the next morning I opened it and it said everybody loves it including Renee and but I do are. now I do now want to see the Peter Dinklage version of Judy <laughs> you've, 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 you've set it off in my brain now yeah, it's, it's hilarious know. well you know as his manager said well Renee's um, agent is actually Peter Dinklage's agent right. and I said to him this is a joke that we'd said at the cast and crew and he said I represent Peter. He would have done an excellent job. <laughs> That's the best thing possible. Uh, just finally, before you go, it's yeah. a busy time for you. You've got Last Christmas, your producer yes, on Last Christmas as well. Have you seen a lot of these fan theories about what the movie actually is about from the trailer? Because everyone's got their theory as to Emilia Clarke's character, Henry Golding's yes. character. And it's all yes. very mysterious, everything else. I mean, yeah. not that you'll give anything away, but have you seen those theories? I definitely and, uh, do you won't think, give do you think, away. Do you think any of them are kind of on the money if you've seen them? Uh, or? I would say they're not on the money. I would say that people have got theories about it, but there are certain things that, that I, can't, I, I can't tell you without giving it away, to be honest with you. Yeah. Any, I can't tell you anything else different without giving it away. But the, so the we're not fueling it in any way. Yeah. But the trifecta of Paul, Feig, Amelia, Henry, and obviously Emma Thompson, and more George, than a Michael, trifecta, and George Michael, of course, yeah. um, you, you, you're hoping this is going to be... People are talking about this quite a lot, aren't they? You're hopeful this is going to be a well, success. Well, every producer is hopeful that everything they ever make is going to be hit. My suspicion is, in honesty, I went to a marketing presentation the other day and I went, oh my God, they're doing spending how much? It looks to me like it is going to be a hit. I mean, it's a really good movie. We um, Emma had a meeting with George uh, a few years ago, actually. Um, he, well, part of the inspiration of it came from him. So we're just we're huge. You know, I'm a huge George Michael fan, and you know, Emma was too. So we're just we you know we just, we always hope for the best. Yeah. Don't overclaim, but hope for the best. <laughs> I think you got a hit on your hands. Well, I hope. On both, in both, on both counts. I on both counts. Oh, we love you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.